Hi, I'm Angel. And I'm Billy. And this is Baby. Hey. Say hey, hi. Thank you for joining us for the Natural Lifestyle Show. <laughs> Today we're going to just do a short video letting you know where to find certain items when you're going dumpster diving. Dump diving. <laughs> um, I've uh, uncovered in my research that college dorms are a really good place for furniture, clothing, and electronics because apparently when people are leaving college a lot of times they'll just throw it out yeah they don't you know they don't want to get a u-haul truck or they don't want the trouble of packing stuff and unpacking it somewhere else yeah I'm... and a lot of times they find a apartment that is furnished yes yeah, so that's a really good tip i don't know that i would have even thought of that i wouldn't have. Um, also, residential buildings, which I guess are like apartment buildings and things like that, mm -hmm. are good to find clothes, furniture, appliances, and houseware. I mean, especially since, you know, if they evict people, people moving in and out, they may leave stuff there yep. and stuff like that. And, you know, it might be the same for dormitories, too. People might just leave and don't come back and just leave everything they got and it yeah. gets cleared out. Um, and for food would be like supermarkets and maybe restaurants. I haven't heard too many people um, dumpster diving at restaurants, but I do know that they throw their food out every night. Yeah. I mean, but you might have to contend with some rats there. I don't know. Yeah. And not only that, you know, uh, a lot. Of, you know, a lot of times when it comes to the cooked food, you know, the way these restaurants are about it. I mean, I wouldn't even suggest it. I mean, I'm not really sure because, like, in big cities. I've seen people get like a bunch of donuts and pastries and stuff, which I'm not promoting eating donuts or pastries. No. I'm just saying that I've seen it. So there's really no restaurant food that I would eat, honestly, or mm -hmm. I would want to eat pretty much, not around here. But so supermarkets basically for food. And um, so I thought I'd just give you that, we'd give you that rundown because I thought it was really interesting. You know, like I said, I wouldn't have thought of dormitories thought of or anything Maybe. like that. So, I mean, you might find some really cool things if you want to start getting some things and selling them or whatever. Yeah. Or Probably you can find a lot of fun, uh, what you call futon. Yeah, I have a lot of futon. <laughs> <laughs> and also, um, you know, with curb shopping, you could find anything. If you just want to ride around and look around on the curbs, you could find any anything if you just especially if you find out what um, day the trash picks up from the curb yeah the day before or a day or two before would be a good time to just ride around so that would be very eclectic there if you like it'd be a good idea yeah just a surprise mm -hmm. <laughs> surprise be surprised what, you, what people throw away you know america's a big i mean we throw away more stuff than anybody yeah but i mean other countries too not just america you know no matter what country you live in you could probably go around and, and do the yeah. same thing so um, leave us a comment below, let us know what you think, and give us a thumbs up for our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and also sub subscribe to our newsletter. Just um, go to our website and you'll be able to sign up there, and you'll get a free report. Sounds great to me. I'm going to sign up now. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to you soon. Thank Bye. you for joining me.